We're here today with Kurt Wedberg, one of the few people on Earth that have guided people to the top of all seven summits. Kurt, you know, there's a lot of guys like me out there that we used to be in the outdoors and then we had a job and those types of things and we really want to get back outside, mm -hmm. but how do we do it, you know? Um, it's always kind of that, what's the first sort of steps? And so am I ready to go hiking? You know, can we, can we go out and start today? <laughs> uh, sure, you just need to change your clothes. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> so what do I need to pay attention to so I'm not hiking in jeans? No, no, uh, the, the age old system of what we call a layering system still holds true every bit as much today as it always did. And the layering system, there's, there's three elements to it. There's a, a base layer, the layer that goes next to your skin, and that's gonna help keep your skin warm and dry. And then you have your insulating layers on top of that, and those are the layers that will help keep you warm. And then your third layer is your elements layer for the wind and rain and such. Okay. So um, a good base layer uh, going next to your skin would be something like this. This is a wool shirt made by Icebreaker. And wool is a nice fabric versus cotton. Uh, wool will keep you warm even if it does get wet, but um, it has a good wide temperature range too. So if it starts to cool down, uh, wool, wool will still keep you warm. But um, as the temperature warms up, it, it also compensates for that too. So it's okay. a great a great piece that way. So no cotton, something Correct. wool that yep. keeps us warm. Okay, so yep. that's the first layer. Yeah, and then your insulating layers would be uh, things like sweaters. Um, and another good example here, this is a, a heavier uh, wool sweater. It has a nice hood on it here, which I particularly like. And, you know, a zip up and down, you know, place for your hands there if you need to with your mm -hmm. pockets. And, and so, uh, you know, maybe for some hikes, one of these is enough. Maybe for uh, colder climates, maybe a couple layers of insulating pieces. And is that better? Is it better to have two of those instead of one thick layer that only works sometimes? I prefer that okay. because it gives you more versatility. Right. If you only need one, you can put on one. If you need two, you put them both gotcha. on. So. Okay, and what's the third layer we need? And the third layer would be to protect you from the elements, for example, wind and rain. And so, uh, for example, this is a, a mountain hardware piece here, and uh, it's um, uh, most of it is you're going to find is nylon and then they'll laminate it with some kind of a material inside. Sometimes it's Gore-Tex, sometimes there's other high-tech fabrics out there, but the idea is to try to get it a little bit breathable so uh, air molecules will pass in and out of it, but water molecules can't. Okay. And so uh, something like this works great for that. You will still uh, perspire more in something like this than just a, uh, an insulating piece. Mm -hmm. However, uh, it will protect you from wind and from rain and such too. So Sounds um, good. Yeah. Now, I mean, as a guy, buying this stuff is kind of fun, but if I'm just going out for my first day hike, mm -hmm. do I need all of this stuff? What, what, what do I need for... Well, chances are it's going to depend on where you live, where you're going, and what you're doing. You know, if you're in San Diego and you have a weather forecast that's calling for 80 degrees and no wind, mm -hmm. a very nice, pleasant day, well, chances are you don't need all this stuff. You know, maybe just a shirt like this is enough, mm -hmm. and uh, maybe one more piece just in case there's some unforeseen circumstance in the, in the weather, as can happen. But... Um, uh, you don't need all this, but if you're going to go, you know, if you're living, say, in uh, Minnesota or Oregon or, or California in a, in a colder climate, uh, yeah, you probably would want to bring more of this stuff. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, let's go get geared up. Uh -huh. 